to my channel and today we're going to be taking a quick look at the 2017 Range Rover Sport SVR so let's crack on with this video <laughs> so as you can see this is the 2017 model if not obvious by the plate it's the SVR which means it gets a 5 litre supercharged petrol engine and the SVR there's little SVR logos in the front and rear of the car and SVR logos on the inside to kind of reinforce the fact you've got something special if you don't know that by looking at it then hey ho but let's start off as you can see this car is finished in matte blue it has quite a nice sheen off it it has just been washed so that helps a little bit try and give you some shots of that matte finish paintwork up front we've got a large air intake in the grill in the front bumpers everything to suck as much air as we can for that V8 engine the car is riding on 22 inch wheels which are enormous we've got blue painted Brembo brakes up front to help slow down the car when you're accelerating <laughs> but on the side of the car typical Range Rover style the Sport is the one if you're not sure we kind of tapered towards the edge compared to the standard Range Rover it's a bit more boxy it still keeps important features such as big grab handles you can move gloves and we've got the convenience of running boards that deploy upon entry and exit Around the rear of the car is where things get interesting. Again, we've got the SVR badge as mentioned previously. We've also got a quad exhaust. And if you can hear it at the moment, you can hear the 5 litre engine purring away. If you give me two seconds, I'm going to give you a rev. So how's that for a 5 litre V8, eh? Uh, typical boring stuff is open with the boot. The electronic tailgate, the large wide opening. Open this up. As you can see, large squared off area, split fold in rear seats, kind of 60 40 style. Got a really plush, thick pile carpet. Range Rover embossed in there, and that's really all you want to know. If you really want to deploy your tow hook, Come on, come on, come on. There we go. And there's a retractable tow hook going away. So you can tow your horses in a 500 horsepower plus car. And to close the boot, push the button again and the tailgate gate will close. In the rear, this is a five passenger car. SVR unfortunately at the moment doesn't come with seven seats. So we've got the high quality rear seats. Kind of sport bucket-esque at the back, but really they're still designed for everyday adjustability. Pull that lever, slides it forward. That one we need to move unfortunately, but you get the idea. Oh. Jump into front and that's where the magic happens and that's not what she said. As you can see you're greeted with a combination of carbon fibre, metal, high quality plastics. All these high quality materials work together to give you that high quality Range Rover aesthetic that you've become used to. So inside as I mentioned you've got the SVR badge at the top. High quality materials as I mentioned you've got a double sun visor which is pretty cool. Lined with the fuzzy stuff. The kind of Alcantara suede material, everything's electric as you'd expect. We've got shades for days. We've got a window that can open in two stages. There we go. We've got big sports seats to hold you in place when you're thrashing this car around. Modern infotainment system and control touches, Dragon Land Rover call it. Everything from your cameras to part and sensors if it pops up. There we go. That's pretty handy. Down here we've got your automatic ZF transmission. Pop up for reverse, camera pops up. Hold the button in, parking mode engaged. And secret cup holders which gives you a sleek look. car also comes with a fridge, and that is correct. A fridge that you put your hand in there will keep your can of juice. Nice and cool. Can be switched off obviously with the touch of a button. 
And I quite like the symmetry of the start stop button there and the glove box the least there. That means if you're in a left hand drive American car, it just switches over and it's not ruining the aesthetic, everything's symmetrical. And everything's just kind of neat and highly finished. And the T-Dose overall isn't not bad as you'd expect. Heated steering wheel's been on for a while and that's fantastic. Cruise control on the right, flappy paddle gearbox up on the right, down from the left. Boring stuff like your indicators, automatic lights, etc. on the left there. And on the right you've got your wipers. Down the right here we've also got boot release, lane departure warning. We've got blind spot monitoring with the little orange light there. Also got heads up display. And we've got a frameless mirror. We also have touch sensitive lighting. Which I kind of see more and more on Audis and stuff these days as well. And we're going to give this car one last hurrah with a... So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel below and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!